Hi everybody, I'm Marley Trular. I'm a artist and curator based in London. My artwork, Touch Screen, Touch Me, uh, in the Shiro's in Quarantine exhibition kind of started with a fascination of how we curate online profiles or online personas through social media like Facebook, Instagram, um, and even going into online dating profiles. How we kind of make up these almost imaginary perfect versions of ourselves that we kind of broadcast out to the world. I really started thinking about um, how technology might be able to craft or create a perfect version of ourselves. So Touch Screen Touch Me imagines myself as an AI companion that has learned from the many histories of the internet, from personal experience um, and kind of other folklore and stories, the desire object that others might view me as. You have the kind of independent that the AI companion would want to be and then you have kind of the real emotional human being that the AI can't quite comprehend. And through this kind of sound performance, um, the AI flips back and forth battling with these different personas and really trying to figure out who they are as this kind of living thinking machine while also having all of this information about who everybody else thinks they are. Where Touch Screen Touch Me was looking at a very personal experience of the redevelopment of the self and how does one relationship change when you're looking at yourself through different viewpoints. I'm re recently making some new developments in actually making my own text-to-speech and playing around with a bit of programming which is awfully scary but a lot of fun and I'm really hoping to kind of bring this Marley AI to life and have her out of my control. Since we've been in quarantine, I think as most of us have found, our practices have changed quite drastically. All we have now is interacting online and the abundance of articles that have been popping up about how to have your first online video date, you know, ways to keep in touch with family through Zoom or Discord or live video Skype chats. We're increasingly more reliant on engaging with each other online and I think how we present ourselves in that way is, is quite fascinating.